start clapping everybody lift it up for Vanessa Larry Mitchell Yo Nimbin You You actually look a bit too lively we run out of weed around here what's going on? So have we got any drinkers? Sit down drink? One person Wait you could almost be a red wine are you a red wine drinker? No Am I like the only fucking drinker in this village? I think, I do know what I did over lockdown, I joined a wine club. Is there anyone here in a wine club? Good. It's the dumbest shit ever. Especially if you're a drinker. Don't join a fucking wine club, right? Hot boxes of wine just arrive at your house, right? I used to go to Dan Murphy's every day. Now boxes were just fucking turning up. And it's, it's like you've hit the elite level of substance abuse. Like, remember the first time when you go from buying sticks to quarters and then quarters to ounces and you feel like you fucking made it, don't you? Like, you're finally adulting, aren't you? You know? Yeah. Or points to eight balls. It's like, fuck yeah, that's adult. That's how you fucking adult. That's good. That's good. Hey, uh, but I'm not, a, I'm not a classy red wine drinker. I'm you know, more of a house red type of girl. It's, uh, I had these people in my house recently and uh, the, the guy and, and his wife, I didn't know her very well and they know wine. And she was drinking, I poured her a wine, which was far too big because there's a like, you're not supposed to pour big wines, but I pour fucking big wines. And she starts doing these ones. I thought, oh no, I've given her one of those glasses. It's been full of milk in my stoner daughter's bedroom. <laughs> I thought it must fucking stink. It's uh, apparently she was just uh, checking the tannins or letting letting it breathe. We do that, don't we? Let it breathe. Let it breathe. Do you know my mum used to say that about my vagina? Did you ever get that? Isn't that the dumbest shit when they say you gotta let it breathe? To girls, yes. And that, now we say it to our kids, like, it's, I, don't, I don't really, it makes no sense, does it? Like, if you're going to bed, they're like, oh, go take your undies, life's got a lot of breathe. <laughs> Is it though? Like, imagine, imagine if you've spent, like, six hours at the swimming pool and you get home, whip your togs off and your vagina's just like, <gasps> <gasps> Like a fucking asthmatic running up a hill. I reckon that's how mine would breathe too from all the hard work she's been doing. <laughs> I, uh, I'm actually feeling a little bit bloated. I just had my IUD changed recently. Hey, has any women here got an IUD? Have you? Fuck, it's crazy, isn't it? Do you know, this was the second one that I've ever got, right? So an IUD, I'll tell you about it in a minute, but it's basically like birth control, right? That goes, has to go up your fanny. But this is the doctor, right? She came in wearing a fucking head torch. <laughs> I had to, like a proper, I was like, like she's looking for fucking minors in there. <laughs> One of those kids from the Thai soccer team, still missing. They're not in there. <laughs> it's, uh... <laughs> the first time I got it done, though, the first time was about five years ago, right? And that was a really interesting experience because it was a man doctor. And you know how men doctors, they, just, they feel like they know vaginas more than women will know vaginas? And this, for those who don't know what I'm talking about, it's basically an IUD is a small piece of plastic, right? And they slip it up inside you and they pull on a string and these arms pop out, right? It just kind of balances on your cervix or like sleek and slender. <laughs> but what it feels like is a bit like a, um, a bit like an umbrella. Uh, not like a cocktail umbrella that you get from the bar, but like a big fuck off golf umbrella that's been smashed around by the wind and they whack it up inside you and pop it open. <laughs> She's with me on this journey. <laughs> I had to do something about birth control because I'm always paranoid about getting pregnant. Like uh, even if I haven't had a root, if my period is like three days late, I'm like, uh-oh. <sighs> it's about time Jesus had a brother. <laughs> Is that right, Moses? <laughs> I can join in the family. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but when I, so when I got this IUD put in, right, he said, this man doctor says to me, he goes, um, before I put it in, he said, uh, now, Vanessa, you may experience some discomfort. <laughs> oh, some discomfort. <laughs> I've left the house in the dark before with my G-string on backwards. That's what I call experiencing some discomfort. <laughs> this thing hurt like I can't. <laughs> no, we're, we're, that's how we can say that, can't we, girls? We can say it hurts like a cunt. Yeah. If you've uh, if you've ever had an IUD or um, ever had a baby, ever accidentally sliced your flat with a razor blade, <laughs> that shit hurts like a cunt, doesn't it? It does. 
It's uh, this. I, I have had a few crazy doctor's experiences, right? A, a while ago, it was just near the time when I, just before I got the first IUD, I, I went to the doctor and I thought, I'll just get the STD, STI check. Just single woman, do the right thing. I mean, I do, I do always use um, condoms, uh, except for when I don't. Um, <laughs> but as soon as I mention STD to the doctor, right, he starts doing this, full, like a proper interrogation on me. So he's like, um, okay, Vanessa, uh, do you have a regular partner? And I was like, well, no, that was an easy question, right? <laughs> then he says, yes, yeah, so, oh, okay, so um, how many people have you slept with in the last 12 months? <laughs> uh, I was like, oh, fuck, and hell. Um, I was like, shit, think of my whole sex life's flashing before my eyes. I'm like, fucking think of a number, think of a number, think of a number. I was like, oh, um, uh, eight. <laughs> Apparently that was the wrong number. <laughs> Eight, he goes with his judgy fucking doctor face. <laughs> he goes, so men and women. I was like, no, I actually managed to find eight men willing to fuck me. <laughs> I only regretted two of them. <laughs> but I mean, what's he going to test me for if I have been with girls? Fucking girl germs. <laughs> and so then he asked a million dollar question, right? He said, uh, he goes, so Vanessa, are you happy having casual sex? Uh, what kind of a question is that? Like, the options are no sex or casual sex, and uh, yes, please, I'm pretty content. But, uh, so, but just for the record, Doc, there's uh, nothing casual about the way I have sex. Uh, so I was a bit shattered. A couple of weeks after this, I, I got the call back. You know when you get the call back that something bad's gone on? So I got the call back, went in there, and uh, he told me I had um, precancerous cells, like abnormal cells. Fucking, I was devastated. I was, um, I was absolutely shuddered. Because I was really hoping that I had chlamydia and that I'd been rendered infertile and then I wouldn't have to worry about getting the IUD. Next time. Next time. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, round of applause for chlamydia. <laughs> I know, this is exciting. I, uh, am I, are you timing me? Am I? Are you, oh, I'm still going. He's enjoying the show. Sorry, I thought he was like, fucking get off. <laughs> I, uh, I, have, I do have a stoner daughter. She's good fun. She's, uh, she's 19. She's stoners and drinkers. We're two different species, aren't we? A uh, little while ago, because I, I was always a drinker, and I know what drinkers used to get up, you know, what you get up to when your parents aren't home. I spent a couple of days on the road, and uh, my daughter was home on her own. I got home, right, and uh, she changed the sheets on her bed. I was like, right. I said, what's going on in here? Do you get spoof on them? <laughs> she goes, nah, it's lasagna. Fucking <laughs> <Like in> stoners. <laughs> uh, she's great. She, uh, she, a little while ago, she told me that she was going to try MDMA for the first time. And uh, I really appreciated that. I think that's really good to have honest and open conversations. So I said, you know, that's... I'm glad you told me. I said, just be really careful. She was going to a festival. I said, be super careful. I said, if you get a little bit too fucked up, just get to the dance floor and just fucking dance it out. Like, just dance it out. She looked at me, right, dead face. She was like, oh, I was thinking I'd just go to the medical tent. <laughs> fucking raise that kid right. Yeah. I know. Parent, I'm fucking parent of the year. <laughs> so, I know. I, I love doing comedy. I appreciate being here. I, I got to do comedy a couple of years ago at Falls Festival, which was uh, a real a real highlight for me. Uh, I was super nervous about it, though. Um, not so much about the comedy, but I was due for my period. And uh, festival period, that's the worst kind of fucking period you can get, isn't it, sisters? Am I right? It's the worst. And I, I'm 41, right? I still party pretty fucking hard for my age when I party. But there's nothing worse than waking up in a tent in, like, you know, 28 degrees and not knowing if you're hungover or if you're dying of toxic shock syndrome from the tampon you've had inside you for the last 16 hours. <laughs> then you've got to try and get it out, don't you? <laughs> what do they give us, girls? A single thread of cotton. One. One fucking thread. I need a fucking rope with a handle on that shit. <laughs> Hook me up to a winch. <laughs> <laughs> There's a few blokes who are like, what the fuck? I'm really sorry, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> for, uh, for any of you blokes that don't know what I'm really talking about, it's um, <laughs> it's a bit like trying to get a dead sheep out of a creek. <laughs> 
it's difficult and it fucking stinks. <laughs> it's fucking signature. You're gonna remember me for that. I uh, I am doing a show. <laughs> Thank you. For anyone around Nimbin, uh, I think it's the weekend after next. I am doing a solo show at the Oasis. I'd love for you to come along. It was going to be called 50 First Dates. It's all about my dating experiences, um, but uh, dating hasn't gone so well. So the show's called Teardrops on My Dildo. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Vanessa Larry Mitchell. Thanks, guys. Vanessa Larry Mitchell, everybody. My Lord, fuck. Let's open a few people up, for sure. Some guys tripping acid. What the fuck is she talking about?